One of the new America's Cup multi-hull boats has suffered damage to its wing after a gust of wind tipped it over. The new AC-45 catamaran class was launched just last month. Rachel Morton was there as an inflatable boat helped it back to base. It was Team Artemis's first time out sailing the new America's Cup multi-hull and it ended like this. And it was all pretty um, under control and then all of a sudden we got a little freak puff and uh, the boat just kept going over and over and tipped, uh, tipped right upside down and uh, obviously laid down on the wing. The Swedish team had been allocated this week to use the shared training boat when a freak gust of wind tipped it over. It's sailing in moderate breeze and they just stopped to um, change part of the furling gear on the front and uh, actually stopped the boat and I think we're having a sandwich. Maybe. <laughs> the damage is to the wing and sail. Structurally, it's fine. The good thing is, I think everyone's fine. Um, we've tipped it over for the first time and uh, there's not too much damage. You know, it looks probably worse than it is. America's Cup Racing says the cost is negligible. It's all detail, small amounts of work. You know, we're probably talking about two kilos of carbon fibre to fix it or something and, you know, and it's some labour time. The, you know, and the people are employed anyway. The boat is expected to be sailing again in a few days and time for Team New Zealand to use it next week. Rachel Morton, 3 News. For the new America's Cup yacht of Auckland this afternoon, the AC-45 Catamaran returning to base in bits with a wing sail shredded at the top and the rear section smashed after a gust of wind capsized the stationary boat near Rangatoto. And all of a sudden we got a little freak puff and uh, the boat just kept going over and over and tipped, uh, tipped right upside down. The damage looks worse than it is, we're told, and the Artemis team from Sweden hopes to resume training in a couple of days. It's a little bit unfortunate, but we're learning all the time. You know, I think uh, this is the first capsize, but it won't be the last. Meanwhile, Team New Zealand continues its catamaran campaign for the latest round of the Extreme Series in Oman. After day one, Team New Zealand's eighth Oman entry, Muscat, is leading the series. That's your sport weather time now. And Renee is here with head.